published a book? Now make it an audiobook. ACX has a great new way for authors to turn their work into audio. I'm Mike Charzik, the executive producer at Audible Studios, and I'm here to help authors narrate their own audiobooks. Why do it yourself? Here are the benefits. It's yours. Nobody knows your work as well as you do. It can boost sales. Fact, audiobook consumers are largely readers who supplement their reading by listening to audiobooks. With an audio version of your book, you can reach that audience. And if you've built a following, many fans want to hear you, not an actor, reading your words. It can be fun. If you like to do it yourself, this is your moment to shine as a voiceover artist. Is this something you want to take on? Start small. Record a couple of pages on a simple handheld device or a program like GarageBand. Ask a friend, preferably an audiobook lover, to comment on your performance. This simple test should help you. Answer two questions. How is my time best used? And will I be a compelling narrator? The right answers, it's worth my time and effort. For my book, I'd make a better narrator than a professional. And I'm confident of this because people have listened to my narration. And it turns out I'm really good. Anything short of that commitment and confidence is the wrong answer. And please, if you've started your narration and need feedback, contact us at acx.com. The phone number and email address are all over acx.com. We'll help you decide whether to keep going on your own or to hire a narrator through our audiobook creation exchange. OK, what should you strive for while working? Number one, authority. People are coming to you for your expertise as a storyteller. If you're a nonfiction writer, you're a leader in your field or a source of important information. Don't do anything to compromise your authority. Pronounce words and names correctly. If that means looking things up, do it. Number two, clarity. If your audience can't make sense of what you're saying, they won't hear you out. Don't mumble, don't speak over your stumbles. Project well. Don't be self-conscious about the quirks in your voice or your regional accent. That's who you are. That's why people want to hear you. You're not a professional voiceover artist. Don't try to be one. Number three, energy. Maintain it. You're trying to inform and entertain. If you find yourself droning on, stop and punch it up. But don't rush. Keep your audience in mind. Think about it. No one wants to be put to sleep or hit with a rapid fire delivery. And this is draining work. Come to the task well rested and take breaks every hour or so. You'll keep an even keel all day. Number four, take risks within reason. You're a performer now. Play up the humor and the emotion. Try to do different character voices and accents if you can. But don't overdo it. Don't go where you can't perform well. Can't do a character voice? Don't. Can't do accents? Avoid them. Just play to your strengths. Number five, imitate. Audiobook narration is charted territory. Take advantage of that. Listen to your favorite authors as read by veteran narrators. Steal their tricks and put them to work in your own audiobook. Every author needs practical advice about narration. And here's John McElroy, the host of our ACX series on home audiobook production. In this segment, he talks about what to wear and eat before a recording session and how to get comfortable in front of the mic. Before you even sit down at the mic, you have two worries, what to wear and what to eat. Meet a recording engineer's nightmare, a starched shirt, corduroys, dangling jewelry, a ticking watch. This guy's built for noise and you don't want him anywhere near your studio. You want a silent wardrobe. Wear a soft cotton shirt, preferably short sleeve, Jeans, no jewelry. Have a sweater on hand if you get chilly. And what about food? Long format voiceover is physically demanding, and you need to stay energized. But you also need to keep stomach rumbles and groans to a minimum. That microphone amplifies weird belly sounds, and once those babies get going, you're going to have to stop and wait for them to die down. There's a lot of lore on what to eat and what to avoid. High protein meals keep your stomach quiet. Starches make rumbling bubbles in your tummy. Green apples minimize mouth noise. Dairy products irritate your throat, yada, yada, yada. There's truth to much of this, but everyone's different. You'll have to experiment and find out what works for you. Oh, always have water on hand. Water keeps your mouth from sounding sticky, and staying hydrated keeps your mind sharp. The takeaway on clothing and food, you can't record over rustling and stomach sounds. Wear the right stuff, eat the right stuff, and record clean. Now let's talk about position on mic. The script is propped up, so I project out, not down. 
It's not so close that my head drops when I read the bottom of the page. And how do you sit? You're upright, you're comfortable, your hands are in your lap, don't move them. If you want to gesticulate, make sure it's away from the mic so nothing is picked up. That's it. Notice that the mic is set above the recording space, 10 or 12 inches from my mouth. The diaphragm, that's the business end of the mic, is angled slightly away. This helps with those P sounds I mentioned in the first lesson. And you always want to be on axis. That means you don't want to be on this side of the mic or this side of the mic. You want to be here, dead on it. That's how you sit. That's how you place the mic. If you're interested in more information on recording at home, check out the full series of videos on ACX.com. You'll learn how to set up a studio and produce high quality audio without leaving your home. This series is indispensable for anyone who wants to do this work. And remember, the ACX team is here to help. Our mission is to create more audiobooks, and we want yours to be a part of it. As I said earlier, contact us. We'll do our best to provide guidance. I'm Mike Charzik for ACX, the Audiobook Creation Exchange. Have fun and good luck.